What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna go over different tips and tricks that I use when I'm doing product research and keyword research when I'm trying to find a good product to sell on Amazon. Now, after watching this video, you should be able to find a better product and find it faster, but we all know product research does take a long time. Some sellers will find a product pretty quick and other sellers will spend months to try to find a product, but hopefully my videos can help you find a good product. I have a lot of other videos if you wanna check those out. There's a ton of different ways on how to find a good product to sell on Amazon. So in this video, I'm going to cover why I use product research software, the benefits, if you should use software, and I'm going to try to answer all of your questions in this video. But before we get into my computer, if you could like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon, leave a comment down below. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm. So I really appreciate it. And I appreciate it so much. I do a giveaway at the end of every month where I give away my Amazon course or a hundred dollar prize. I pick a random winner in the comment section. So all you have to do is leave a comment and you have a chance to win. But enough of the boring talk, let's get into my computer right now and break down how you could find a good product to sell on Amazon. Let's go. All right guys, so before we get into the tricks that I use when I'm doing product and keyword research, if you haven't seen my other video, I use Helium 10 for all of my Amazon product research because it's the most accurate. I did an accuracy test against my actual products that I sell on Amazon and the revenue estimates was pretty close with my actual revenue that I was making that month. So that's why I use Helium 10 because it's the most accurate and they have a lot of great tools for your Amazon business. Now it does cost money, but I do have a 50% off discount code down below if you wanna use Helium 10. Now, another reason I use product research software is because you don't want to just sell a random product on Amazon without doing the research beforehand. Chances are your product will fail because you didn't do the research. There's probably no demand. You don't know how competitive it is. So this gives you a good idea of what your competition is doing, how much revenue they're making each month, how many units they're selling each month, how many people are searching that keyword on Amazon so you can make sure that there's actually demand on Amazon. So product research is great. It helps limit risk and mistakes, and it's going to help you find a good product to launch on Amazon. So with that being said, let's actually get into the software. So if you're trying to find a product, chances are you are using Helium 10 Black Box. It's their product research tool and it's pretty powerful, but they only show you up to 200 different products when you do a search. So you have to really narrow it down with the different filters, the categories, and then as you narrow that down, it's gonna show you different products that other people are probably not seeing. Helium 10 Black Box goes through millions of products, but they don't display all of them because that's a lot of data. So the more filtering that you do right here, the more chances you are gonna find a product that other people are not seeing. So I'm gonna go over the filters that I like to use. So most people will jump on here, they choose their category. I like to do a monthly revenue of around 5,000 or above. The price point between 12 and $30. Max review count around 200. It could be more, it could be less. It doesn't have to be these exact numbers. And then I like to come down here to the advanced filters. And a lot of times I see like iPhone accessories and different types of products. So you always wanna type those keywords in right here so it gets rid of those. So better products could be shown and those might be products that will actually be good products to sell on Amazon. So you always wanna do like Christmas here, iPhone, ornament, bed sheets, pillows, because we don't wanna sell any of these types of items. So you're gonna type all of the repetitive products that keep pulling up on Blackbox and get rid of them right here so other products could be shown. Another cool feature is right here where it says exclude brands. If you keep seeing iPhones popping up or iPhone cases, you don't wanna compete against a brand like Apple or Microsoft. You will never win. They have tons of money. You will just lose a ton of money. So you're gonna to wanna to type any brand that keeps popping up. You're gonna put that here so then it gets rid of those products and it's gonna show you other products and you're really just filtering out all of these bad products so good products could be shown. But my favorite part of Helium 10 Black Box is the keywords tab. And we're gonna find products based on the keyword data rather than the actual product. So we're doing it by the search volume of how many times people are searching that keyword on Amazon each month. So for example, we could put 10,000 right here. That means over 10,000 people are gonna be searching for this product on Amazon. And then right here we could do two. That means there's gonna be at least two words in that keyword. So a lot of times people will type in more than one word. So if they're going to buy like an iPhone case, they're not just going to type in iPhone. They're going to type in iPhone case, iPhone case for iPhone 10, iPhone case metal. They're going to type in a keyword that has more than one word. So you could do this. You could do three words right here, and that's going to narrow down your search results on the products that pop up. 
a lot of other things you could do down here like the shipping size how small the product is and all of these different things are going to help you narrow down the filtered results so those are some tips inside of black box but now i'm going to show you a couple tips inside of helium 10 x-ray this is their chrome extension and it gives you an idea of how much money these sellers are making each month it shows you their sales history right here their chart um it shows you all of this information their fba fees they're all estimates but they are pretty accurate but if we look right here where it says average revenue this is an average of all of these sellers combined so sometimes when you're doing product research you'll get a product that pops up that isn't even relevant to the product that you're looking for and it displays because it's like a sponsored ad or somehow it got ranked for that keyword you want to get rid of that product from x-ray because it's messing with all of your revenue the bsr it's averaging in that product with your other product so what you do is you go right here over the number and you just hit this little trash can and it's going to delete that product so you could actually get a better picture of what the actual product is doing in revenue another thing is this might look great right here 70,000 a month but you'll see this product right here they're doing over eight hundred and thirty thousand dollars a month in revenue they have almost twenty thousand reviews so this number right here is a lot higher than all of these sellers revenues but this is getting factored into that average revenue so we would want to delete this one to get a better picture of what sellers are doing with under like 200 reviews and that will give us a good idea so i'm going to go right here on this one they have almost 20,000 reviews so that number is getting filtered into here um, but I'm going to delete that one right here. That just dropped the average revenue down to 53,000 just by that one product. And then if we come right here, this one has over 10,000 reviews. So I'm going to delete this one and it just dropped it down another 10,000. Um, and then we'll come down here. Here's another one with 27,000 reviews. So I'm going to delete this one and you can see what I'm doing. So if you have a product where there's one seller that does like $2 million a month, and then you have all of these other sellers that are doing like five to 10,000 a month, the average revenue might look great but it looks great because that one top seller's revenue is getting factored into all of the other sellers revenue so you always want to keep that in mind if you see a product that is not related to the product you want to sell and somehow it's on that page you're going to delete it right here so you can see a better picture of the actual market or if you have one seller that's dominating the market to get a better picture of what the actual market is you would delete that seller and then see how much they are actually making each month i like to look at the sellers that have low reviews on page one to determine if that is a good product to sell if every seller on page one has over a hundred reviews then it's going to be a very competitive product you want to see sellers on page one with low reviews doing decent revenue if you see sellers like this they all have like 700 reviews on page one and the sellers with low reviews aren't doing that great then you would not want to sell that product because that's a competitive market another thing is a lot of people rely on this success score now i don't even look at this number i look at a lot of other things so you don't have to base your product idea based on these stars you could completely ignore those but you want to look at all of the other things like demand um, competition differentiation ideas so you're not selling the same exact thing another thing you want to do is check the actual keyword data so we type in the main keyword right here and then we want to check the search volume history on that keyword to make sure it's not a seasonal keyword but if you click on the blue arrow right here it gives us the history of that keyword on how many times people are searching that keyword so you could see like way back here between March and May only 15,000 people were searching for cheese boards and then if you look around December it shot up to 317,000 people were searching that each month so that's how you could tell if a product is seasonal look at their history of the keyword search volume a lot of people search for that cheese board during Christmas but we would have never known it's a seasonal product if we didn't check this or Google Trends. so that's a good indicator that that's seasonal because we could see it spiked up and now after Christmas time it's starting to drop pretty fast so another tool inside of helium 10 is cerebro now this gives you all of the keywords that you could target in your listing it shows you what your competitor competitors are ranked for what page they're on it shows you the search volumes on the keywords that that person is ranked for so I'm going to use this product as an example I'm going to copy the ASIN right here and then I'm going to go to Cerebro and I'm going to paste it right here and then I'm going to hit get keywords so now this is displaying all of the keywords that that product is ranked for that seller um, you can see right here this keyword they're ranked for but there's only 27 people searching that keyword each month but they're organically ranked number one that means they're in position one on that page when the customer types and noodle cutter adjustable it's going to be very easy to rank for these keywords because the search volume is under 100 searches per month so you can see right here the eight day giveaway is they only have to sell one unit each day under that keyword to rank on page one for that keyword so if you're ever wondering what keywords that seller is doing really good on what they're ranked on we will go right here to the organic rank and we will just do max five so this is going to show you the most relevant keywords to that actual product so you could find good keywords to target in your 
your listing or optimize your listing with and run PPC on. So I hit five right here and then I'm gonna hit apply. And now it's gonna display all of the keywords that are the most relevant to that product. So they are on position number one to five. You can see right here for all of these keywords. So roller for pastry, precision, pie cutter, noodle cutter, adjustable, and you get the point. All of these other keywords, they are not organically ranked. So that's another thing you have to look at when you're doing keyword research is make sure that you could find a lot of keywords that you could target that aren't too competitive and see what your competitors are ranked for. So you could use those keywords in your own listing. But that is pretty much it. Those are some tips when you're doing product research and using Helium 10. Again, I use Helium 10 for all of my product and keyword research. So if you want to check it out, I have a discount code down below. But hopefully these tips help you find a better product. You really want to narrow down those filters because chances are new sellers are not doing all of that. They're just seeing what's on page one and then they're giving up because it's only displaying 200 products and they are not seeing what else is out there. But there's millions of products out there. You have to do the filtering to find them. And those are some examples on what to do. Also, if you didn't know, I have a product validation service. It's called the product validator where I actually do a complete market lookup. I type out a full report on the good, the bad, any ideas that I have to improve that product that you find. And it's going to help you limit risk and mistakes from launching a bad product. You might not know that it's a bad product, but I might know from experience and other products that I've done analysis on. So if you want to check that out, click the link down below. But that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. All of my links are right down below, but I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.